for those of you who are not who are not in the know yet, I think most of you we've seen on webinars before, but I'm Jesse. So welcome to our webinar um, along with Harshit. And we are here to talk about TCO regionals and how you can qualify and why they're awesome and why you're going to leave this like totally jazzed for TCO, all things TCO. Um, so TCO, this is one of my favorite quotes of all time. This was actually in the Wall Street Journal. It's one of my first years at Top Quarter. Um, so this is what it is. It's spectator sport coding and designing with the best of the best. So super cool. Um, so what exactly is TCO? So it's the ultimate program, programming and design tournament. Um, in, in my words, the TCO, Top Coder Open, is our uh, celebration of our community. Okay, it's our biggest incentive program for you. Um, you are coming here every day, participating in challenges, working really hard, earning a living, and really adding value to everything we do for our customers. And so in return, um, besides prize money, which yeah, that's important, but it's really important that we, um, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? We just, we celebrate you and we appreciate the things that you're doing. And so with the TCO, we provide points for you. Um, so every time you're participating in a challenge, you're earning TCO points. And all those points earn uh, a possible trip to the TCO finals or a regional event, which we'll, we'll go over in detail. Um, and so as you're competing every day, all month after month, you're earning TCO points. And it's just, it's the best experience in the world to be with like-minded folks in a room where they're winning thousands of dollars by just being amazing. Um, and you're just looking at that picture there, you have I am Tong, one of our top designers in the world, Piotr, tourist. I mean, these guys are celebrities in their field. And just being able to meet them and be around them and talk to them is just an incredible feeling. And so the ability to win a trip to TCO and be a part of this event is so life-changing. And that's why we love it so much because we get to meet all of you. Um, are you gonna try to play the video harsh or is it a little too? Choppy, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay. And uh, yeah, and see how does it. I'll call you out if it's not working well. I'm waiting for it. Every time means solving hard problems and spending time with friends from all over the world. More than family and friends to me. It's the glue that binds us all together. People who is passionate about technology, people who is passionate about designing, about coding. Because it's just, I see the point like a, as a bridge that brings together all of these people here and then we can create connections and families. We've got a community of over 1.5 million people, 1.5 million strong. We've flown in over 100 people to be here with us in Houston. 31 different countries and they're competing for 92K in prize money. This year at TCO, we were really excited to be able to offer this great city of Houston their budding innovation hub. We were able to host a fantastic innovation summit, a girls with STEM event, and we also were able to run a really great hackathon. So lots of different pieces of Top Group and making it more than just a tournament, more than just a, a customer event, but really something for the whole community in Houston and our whole Top Quarter community. The championship round of the 2019 Top Coder Open has begun. Good luck, competitors. Same, Jesse. Uh, in today's problem, contestants are asked to place pieces representing multiple different players on a chessboard of potentially I like very this large problem, size. Actually. I, I like this. Uh, so we got the manual test case completion. Second like phase ready. is the bug hunt, and then third phase is the challenge phase. Would you could challenge other people's bugs, validate or without their bugs. Challenge of working with some NASA data about uh, images that they store. And they pull in from multiple sources, multiple different agencies that are part of the, the space program. We have three different challenges. It makes it hard to have a different score. The first one has 200 points. The second one has 300. And the final one has 500 points. 
This year we had a customer who has digital asset management tool, and we've asked the designer to work on very specific design problems within the user interface and user experience of this tool. We were from the bottom of the table. I lost one. I was the last one. This kind of surprised to see four of us in the market table. It's always interesting not just to solve problems, but also see others solving the problems and try to find uh, mistakes in their line of reasoning. And try to detect their solution and fail. Did they really let the room distract them? Did they let the time distract them? Did they let like the overall kind of um, stress of being here distract them? Or did they focus in on the problem? I'm really exhausted. Sorry, Harp. I'm nervous. Very stressed. But interesting. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Focus on the main equation. Get as much knowledge as possible. I try to pass as many test cases as possible. Stay hungry, stay foolish. All right. I think uh, I'll, I'll I'll take some of the thunder here, Jesse, and try and explain like uh, uh, a few things like what TCO is has been to me. So so you know I, I started attending TCO finals uh, back in 2016. That was my first TCO finals, and uh, you know as as Jesse was just pointing out, right? We we all see you competing online. We all see you uh, interacting online, and then bringing all of you together, you know. All these four years, I've I've seen that it's 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 like a family moment for me. You know, almost you know ten hours a day involved being involved with the community, seeing all of you competing on challenges here and there. You know, submitting or submitting five articles and interacting and helping us. Uh, you know, do do good for the community, and then it boils down to that week, and 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 you know all all that all that what we see, all that passion we see from you guys. uh goes into the 3 4 days of setup we do for the event so all what you see, see in the arena the the kiosks the stuff the 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 desk the stages the the whole scheduling that happens and jessie has a i'm i'm revealing it again i just hope she stops using hundreds of sheets <laughs> so she has hundreds of sheets there is so much of planning that starts up taking place like months months before the event and it's it's all happening sponsors so so all all that passion that comes to us because we want to meet you guys you want because you guys are here right like i i'm like all the comments you are seeing right now in the chat or we see uh we see you know we, we when we meet them we see we when we see in the we see in the forums we see on slack it all motivates us to get this get this together and you know uh, make it make it the best week for you so that's that's the passion behind tco and i just you were saying it's it's not just uh a competition is something that you know it's 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 the biggest incentive we have for the community and because you do a lot for us so yeah that's big celebration of our community absolutely and and as harsh had said like it's not just us you know running tco for you but it's also you helping us run tco we have a number of community helpers who are part of this um we set up and break down the whole event including like our ceo mike morris he's in there packing boxes moving stuff it's it's a really great team effort and with our well more so than ever now our virtual kind of atmosphere right everything is virtual right now um and at top coder it always was virtual right we haven't we don't have an office i don't see harsh it except for at tco and so these this moment where we are all together as a top quarter team plus we get to bring in our best community members it's just an experience like none other and and so it's something that i would i wish every member could experience at some point 
And so that's why we have regional events because TCO finals are hard to get to. So Harshit, you're up. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go through the competition tracks. So basically, once again, TCO at the core is competition because top coder at core is competition. We want you to uh, come compete, make it as exciting as it can be. Like it's it's basically, you know, imagine you are in a stadium watching a sport event and the the leaderboards changing and things are happening and all that thrill. You know, I've I've experienced that over the years and it's 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 one of the best moments. I mean, even when I'm watching a video and the results are coming up on the leaderboard, it's it's amazing. So TCO at core is competition. And uh, so whatever tracks we have for TCO, we have the same tracks for uh, the regionals. So I'm going to first talk about what competition tracks do we have at TCO and how you can qualify, how, how you can gain TCO points. So, so basically to qualify uh, for TCO or TCO regionals, the, the, the most important thing you need is TCO points. So I'm going to go through the tracks we have you can pick a track, you can find out competitions and see what you need to do from there. Okay, so we have six different tracks of competition and uh, you know, I've, I've tried to uh, uh, you know, list them in a manner where you can understand what they are related to. So for UI UX designing, we have the design track for uh, software development. If you are a software developer, if you are uh, into, into you know, de developing front-end, back-end or microservices APIs or you know, various things. Uh, we have a development track and we also have a first to finish track. So, so development track is something that, uh, you know, you get, you get three, four, five days or a week long challenges and uh, you're, you're, you're given a big set of requirement and, you know, there is a scoring, there's a, there is a judging criteria, there is a scoreboard and you can see how you will be judged. You need to achieve your requirements and you submit, you get a score and uh, that's development track. First to finish track is some, is something where we have these small tasks, which we, which you know, uh, which we really want to want you guys to do like ASAP. So and it, it doesn't require a lot of uh, you know thinking or a lot of achieving a lot of different complicated requirements, but it's a straightforward task which we wish to wish to get a result, which we should get uh, wish to get to get a solution ASAP. So so we so that's the track. It's a, as the name suggests, it's a, it's first to finish and. Uh, this track is really interesting at uh, you know the TCO finals. In fact, at 2020 finals, we had like almost 20 uh, to 25 odd problems, and uh, so the members who were solving first were getting some X points. Who were solving second were getting so so second to finish was getting some Y points. Third to finish and then rest to finish. So there were points based on each problem and very small tasks, very small uh, interesting tasks which were uh, super interesting to solve. So these two tracks are software development. Uh, and I think if you are a, if you are a newbie in development, first to finish act, acts as a very interesting track for you to quickly start and uh, go in and you know understand top coder and do it. Uh, you know, in fact, I remember uh, speaking to one of the champions uh, at a TCO, and you know he started with first to finish track, and uh, uh, he said it, it, it was always fun to keep looking at the, the the challenge listing page and finding out whenever a first to finish is launched, we have to go get it and you know submit it twelve hours. So. So that excitement of getting a first to finish quickly, registering and then finishing it fast and then submitting it uh, was really fun. The next one is the the competitive programming, which we we call as algorithm track in, at TCO. So basically, this is the this is the most famous track we have. A lot of uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, there's a lot of spectatorship when this track is happening on the live broadcast. A lot of people are watching from their homes all around the world, like because. Uh, best of the best competitive programmers are actually competing uh, in the algorithm track. This is basically uh, if you if you go to top coder uh, applet or arena, if you search for SRMs, uh, you will find more about algorithm track, what it is about. Uh, then there's a marathon track uh, in which we run data science competitions, the machine learning data competitions, and we also run the algorithm optimization competition. So that that forms the marathon track. Uh, and then we have a software testing track, which is something which we introduced back in 2019, which is still really fresh. And uh, you know, again, if you are a uh, if you are new to TCO, this this uh, this track along with first to finish acts as a very interesting track for you to quickly make it in your first year itself uh, to TCO final. So that's a tip over there. So uh, you can, we we'll, I think uh, if you go to TCO 21 website, and uh, you know, if you search, if you just scroll down on the homepage. You can find out that there are we have we set the learn more options and you can get to the the the, the exact competitions you need to go to 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 get points for those competitions. 
So let me come back to what, uh, how do we do the qualifications? So as again, to, to qualify to TCO, you need TCO points. Uh, TCO points are the core for that will make you qualify to uh, TCO. So for how do we do it? We divide a full year of TCO into four stages and you have to be in, in top uh, of those stages to qualify to TCO. So, so earn points during that three month period and you can qualify to, uh, uh, to TCO finals. And top 12 to 16 performers, some tracks have 12 spots, some tracks have 16 spots and, uh, you know, and then there are other trip winning opportunities too, which I'll share in the next, next few slides. And then you get an all paid trip to the on-site finals in the United States, which is absolutely amazing. You're going to share some, you saw the video, but you're going to go to Flickr and show some of the favorite picks of, uh, which we really like, uh, and show you the, the whole experience again. So once again, we have these six tracks, uh, uh, the, we divide the whole year into four stages and each stage is three months. Uh, and you need to be at the top of the leaderboard in those, in those, uh, three, in those three months to qualify, to get a ticket to the DCO finals. Okay. Uh, moving on. How do you, how do we do that? So the development track has, uh, so basically, so if you go to topcolor.com slash challenges, you can find all the competitions there. You would see TCO label challenges. So all the core challenges that are tagged as TCO, uh, TCO 21 for, for this year are basically eligible for, for points to development track. The, the points calculation is, 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 you know, in very detail listed on the, the TCO website, but to just give you a brief, how is it done? It's basically the prize money of the competition is used as the total number of points and then distributed among the top five, uh, submissions, uh, if there are, if there are, if there are five placements. Similar happens, similar thing happens with design. Uh, for first to finish, uh, it's basically whosoever wins because there's, there's only one person who will win gets all the points. Again, points are based on the, uh, the prize money of the, of the competition, but there's a, there is a, there's a thing here that is a maximum of only 400 points are awarded. So even if the prize money is $1,200, you would only be awarded 400 points. So that's first to finish the algorithm track is again, there are various ways to qualify in the algorithm track. Uh, there are online stages, there are online rounds, there is a, there are regional wide card rounds. So if you go to the TCO 20 website and, uh, 21 website, and you hit the algorithm track, there is a very nice graphic, which Daniela made for us. So you can take a look and it will really explain you how, uh, you can qualify. We, we got a pink kid in you. Why is it not loading? <laughs> Just and after. next we have, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll jump back to that. Okay. <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I yeah, will, we'll come back to that, but always, you, I mean, we'll fix it and we'll make sure it's working and you can always go back to the same link and check out how the process is. So there are online stages, which is very similar to development track, but there are again, some online rounds in which, uh, you know, uh, a set number of people advance and then they qualify to round four eventually and 11 people, 11 members from round four, uh, qualify to, uh, the finals. So sorry, 10 members this year, it was 11 last year because we had three stages, 10 members this year will qualify from round four to the finals. And then we have regional wildcard rounds. We'll come back to this when we talk about regionals and explain you how going to a regional, you can qualify, uh, to the algorithm finals. Then there's a, again, marathon track, the scoring is a little different here. It's not, it's not based on, it's not based on the prize money because prize monies are huge in marathon matches. So basically it's, 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 it's a formula one style scoring. You top 30 from each marathon match. If they have a score greater than zero, get, uh, the, the, the assigned number of points. You can again, go back to the, the, the marathon rules and check out the detailing of how that point point system happens. Uh, QA is very similar to how Devon design is done. Again, the monetary prize money is divided. Uh, is, the, is the monetary prize money is taken as the, the amount of bucket of points and then divided among the top five placements. So, so that's a brief of how you get points. You can always go back to your particular track and read more about it. I, if I, if I go into, if I go deep into one track, I think we'll get bored of how is it done. So I'll, I'll just keep it brief and then, uh, talk about the, the winner trip opportunity. Uh, if, if you guys don't know, there is a, there is, you, you don't be, you, you can always progress from a member to a co-pilot at top coder, which is, uh, something you, uh, uh, which is something, Oh, I, uh, Sarah, I'll take that question, uh, after afterwards. 
so which is something that you know acts as a you know kind of a something which you know once you are experienced as a member you want to do something different you can act as a project manager on uh, a lot of uh, projects and be a co-pilot so all those co-pilots who do well there is a point system allocated to them and you know every stage for each track a co-pilot qualifies uh, to teach your finals and wins a trip to the finals similarly for problem writing in algorithm competitions if you are writing problems you can uh, you know get points so we don't have this for teacher 21 but we will bring it back in teacher 22 we are planning a new way of uh, doing the problem writing trip and which would be really exciting so so i think by by june or july you would see announcements about problem writing trip for teacher 22 and you can start writing problems uh, for us then you can write right now also so uh, uh, but you learn points for teacher 22 so we have these these trip winning opportunities and there are some other you know sometimes Uh, we have a campaign running up, and we we do add these kind of trip winning opportunities. Like if you participate in Design Month, uh, there are sometimes prizes that make you go to teach your finals, or there might be some kind of a campaign or a probably uh, a big series of matches we we might do and award a trip to teach your finals. So all those all those exciting things, uh, uh, you know, the the trips we introduce in between the the TCO time frame go into the winner trip opportunity section. So yeah, keep keep looking for that. All right, so Jesse, do you want to talk about the sponsors? I know you have seen most of them, spoken to most of them. Like, how oh, is it? Uh, I think I worked with every single one of these sponsors, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we have sponsors at TCO, and the reason for that is because they want to work with the best of the best, right? So, um, companies will come to us and say, "Hey, we want to um, hire some really great people, or we want to." Get our brand in front of your community, and so they will sponsor TCO. Now, sponsoring TCO is a really great honor for um, for them and for us because they're supporting you. They're supporting what we do at Top Quarter for our community. Um, we've had all these great logos. Um, they've come to our events. We've had some actually do interviews at our events. In fact. Uh, I, I remember Facebook actually interviewing live at TCO and then being so impressed with a few people, they actually changed their flight home from TCO and flew them to California to interview there as well at their headquarters and then hired them. And so we have a number of top quarter members whose lives have definitely changed due to being able to come to TCO and meet some of these great sponsor companies. Um, and so not only is it cool, we get the logo, you get opportunities, but they got lots of cool swag. I mean, do you I know how many Google yeah. pens I have? And NSA, I, I still have NSA pens from like 2006 because they had the best pens ever. So national security agency pens just roam my house for, for the rest of my life. Um, but <laughs> lots of cool stuff that's free and just a great opportunity to meet some people and, and get some support from, lo from local businesses. So sponsors awesome part of tco i remember i remember jesse uh there was a 3d printer at one of the tcos right and yeah. everybody was so you you see all these cool things and you can speak to you know the great sponsors and the people who have come there to you know tell you about the company and that's it's, it's a great experience to go to the sponsor booths and talk to them and you know what they have and what they're doing and all, of course collect the goodies they have so they have these cool really cool stuff so yeah and then they hire the top quarter members who then come back the next year. And so we've had um, some members who got hired, came back as part of the sponsorship team for Facebook the following year. And we're sitting at the Facebook booth saying, hey, I was here last year attending the event and now I'm here manning the booth. And wow. so it's really cool to see that transformation from our members to have that, those opportunities. All right, so I think, yeah, that's uh, another incentive for you uh, to come to TCO. And I'm, I'm sure this is a very interesting part. You know, I, I remember in my first TCO in 16, I, I collected all those uh, interesting Red Hat goodies and Docker goodies and uh, Blizzard stickers. And I, I still have those. So, so yeah, so make sure you got, I mean, if you are coming to a TCO, you are always hitting a sponsor booth and collecting all these things. Okay, uh, coming back to the main uh, focus we are here for, uh, uh, you know, because this is the season, this is the stage for the regional events. So uh, we'll just quickly go through how does it happen for regionals. I, I hope you guys understood that TCO points are important and TCO points help you get on the TCO leaderboards. What really happens uh, at a regional event is basically, 
I, I think we should, I, I should start with what is a regional event uh, first. Um, so basically in 2015, Jessie had this idea while she was at home, not attending TCO 14. I know the, I know the whole story. So she had this idea that, oh, we should be taking TCO to everyone around the world, as she just mentioned in the beginning of the webinar. That's when she thought, okay, we should be going to the regions where we have uh, a, a, a good member base and we can organize the event. So, so back in 2015, we did four or five regionals. I am I'm forgetting uh, what, what's happened to my memory. So, so, uh, so we, we, we basically uh, hosted these regionals. We went to Russia. I remember the first region I was there. We did a hackathon. We did an algorithm round and it was, it was all amazing. And we, we did an event in India. We did an event in uh, US. And uh, yeah, that was the, that was the first year. We did two events in US, if I'm if I'm not wrong. And so this is the year we, we really thought this is the TCO regionals are you know exceptional. And, and we and we uh, Jesse you know and and I think Jesse would feel this too. And the best part is we are able to do TCO throughout the year. So you know you know really run these events throughout the year. So 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 that's that's another uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know, selfish part of running TCOs regionals, but but yeah, but it's it's okay. That's but that's a joke though. But TCO regionals are absolutely amazing. They really were uh, growing with time. The participation around all the regions were in, was increasing. The 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 interest was increasing, and we really thought you know we need to work a lot on regionals and make them uh, you know be a part of everyone's life around the world, every, every member's life. So so that's when in in nineteen uh, in you know when we finished with the nineteen regionals. Uh, uh, Jesse had this idea that let's let's take it to everybody, and we 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 worked on it. We we found out that hey, we can divide the world into you know geo regions and you know start hosting regional and every region so that everybody can be a part of the regional event. And in in 2020, we made that happen, and we had every one of you events you know come to a regional. Back th back in 2015, there were some members in you know some regions who were like, are you not going to host a regional in our our uh, in our city or in, in you know in our country and we were like oh not this year but we'll plan so so all those all those feedback we had all the interest we had around the regional events we basically brought regionals to everyone that's when we took the regionals to uh, we, we divided the world into various geo regions and we uh, i will move to next slide yeah we we this is what we did basically this is how we divided the geo regions and uh, we hosted a regional in every region and this is for 21 we are going to be going with the same format uh, we'll be hosting a region in every region. So, okay. So how does it work? Uh, so TCO points again are very similar to the TCO points you get, which we showed you. You can go to the rules page of each track, find out how you get those points. Uh, once you earn those points, basically for each region, we have filtered out the regional leaderboards. It's very simple. Same points you earn from the, uh, from the rules you see from the TCO points you earn. Uh, during stage three, we we have just filtered out those leaderboards based on the region. So so if you go to the regional website of your own region, you would see the leaderboard, which is actually nothing but a filtered leaderboard just for your region. So so uh, so all you need to do is be on that leaderboard. Uh, we are going to definitely invite twenty members per track. So make sure you are working hard and making sure you are in the top twenty to qualify to the regionals. So, Sometimes we really invite a lot of members, not only 20, we increase this participation. That, that depends on how uh, the, the venue is decided. That depends on how we decide the, you know, we, the, how many sponsors we have and how, how big of an event we are able to do. If we can do, if we can accommodate all of you, that is going to be, uh, you know, something that we would always like to happen. You know, we, we always want that to happen, but if not, we definitely invite uh, 20 per track and uh, so make sure you are make you know getting in the top 20 making sure you get an invite and then come to a regional event also some invitations are rolled out to you know top quarter veterans in the region co-pilots and reviewers so so that's a great chance of you to you know so let's say you've you have you have, you've had somebody who has been a great competitive programmer in india or in southern asia region it's a great moment and he's, he's not competing anymore we basically try our level best to bring those members to the event so that you guys can meet them and they they can see you the new the the new uh, the new members and you know interact and talk that how uh, were their days at top quarter and how uh, how you can take help from them you know basically to 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 grow to to the level they have uh, been at top quarter so so I think at, so we, we we had a really good time Jesse uh, at, at the North America regional this year when we had so many members who had basically retired last year uh, 
uh, in the last decade, I should say, sorry, not last year. So we had, we had, you know, Ralph Primick and we had uh, Red Eye, we had MSG Triple Five. Those were the, the, the members who used to be on the top of the leaderboards of every other SRM uh, back, back in 2007, 2007, 2008 or 2009. So it was great to see them again competing, you know, so, so, so yeah, so we make sure that you get all of these things out of a regional event. Uh, so this is how the leaderboard looks like. So this is, I'm, I've just captured uh, the Southern Asia last year's algorithm leaderboard. It's filtered to show the top members uh, in the region. Uh, you can, you can go to the site and check out the leaderboards for this year. Uh, so once again, the, the regional, the regional leaderboards are only filtered for stage three. So all you need to do is, is compete from Jan to March and you will get yourself on the leaderboard. Make sure you are working hard to get yourself in the top 20 so that you definitely get a ticket to the event. Uh, what, what happens, what happens at a regional event, you, you already saw what happens, uh, at a, at, at a finals. There are, there are so many things. It's a week long event, uh, at, at regionals, it's basically a one day event. Uh, we do a lot of things in, in that one day itself. So it's, it's, it's like, you will not get bored at all. There are a lot of things happening. We, we have games happening. We have game stops. We have networking opportunities. Uh, we have competitions happening competitions. You know, we have been trying new and different things. Uh, you know, we, we did a bracket style tournament last year, basically. And for design also, we tried the same bracket style tournament. It was, it was great to see those, uh, you know, the eliminations happening every 30 minutes and the excitement of, you know, the, the nervousness of who's going to go out, what's going to happen because every 30 minutes you had something to really see on the leaderboard and, you know, even spectate. So, so we do these interesting things and we, we even uh, run, you know, software testing competition every time for, you know, for everyone to go and try and, and I've seen a lot of algorithm members and development members also trying uh, this track to, to earn some, to earn some good prize money. So, all these competitions are happening. There are games and networking opportunities. And of course there are some live, live discussions and uh, sessions too. So, so while we, while we did uh, the Algorithm Bracket Tournament for every other, uh, uh, for every other uh, regional region, uh, you, you, you get to, uh, you get, we, we, we bring some of the experts from that region, even some of the veterans and they are on, they're on uh, the, the whole bracket tournament or they're on there for the design. Also, you have, you have Adam and a few designers few expert designers on, on, uh, uh, you know, live and chatting about what's happening is why, why, why are we selecting this design or, you know, wh why is this format interesting? Why is the algorithm bracket interesting? Who has done better in the past year or not? So all those interesting conversations are happening in the live sessions and they are, they are super interesting. And then we do a post-match analysis where we bring in an expert to really talk about how the problems were solved and, you know, what do you need to, so you're taking through, through all the problems we had throughout the day. Uh, so that's, that's, it, it, it might seem like, uh, it's not accommodatable in one day, but it, it happens, it happens in one day. And there is, there is so much excitement, so much going on. Uh, you know, you, you won't really get bored. Even if you, even if you get kicked out of one competition, you have something else running, you can jump into that and, you know, start competing there. So there is always something happening for you at a regional event. So it's always going to be that exciting. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I can, I can. I can probably play a regional video, but I think that would take a lot of time. So I'll just, we'll, we'll probably uh, share some regional video links with you. I mean, what we did at a re regional event last year, but uh, so uh, TCO experience, I mean, that's something. Uh, so what really happens at TCO? Uh, if, if it's a final or a regional, like what really happens? Like we wanted to show you some pictures. So Jesse, I'll give you a uh, screen share and you can like pull up some photographs. Sure thing. Yeah. It's hard to really explain how TCO is and how it works without being there, but definitely watch the videos too. I think it's, it's really cool to be able to, um, to, to see the videos and, and have that experience. So yeah, I, yeah. I, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Harshad. Yeah, I'm saying, I think we should credit Sandika for like, like creating all these videos, which, which, yeah. which, which, which really bring all the members who are not able to attend like really close to what's happening, right? The excitement of the event, right? So um, Harshit had um, questions about, oh, what photos should we share today? And I was like, well, don't add them to the deck. We can just pull them up here. Um, so, um, 
Oh, that's the one I wanted. I wanted to start with India. So for example, like this was our India event last year. Now I have not been able to go to a TCO, a regional event in India yet, um, but they're incredible. I mean, from the setup to the design and all the cool things that they do for everybody. Um, it's just a really, really cool experience. Um, you know, these are some of the team members that put it together from our Jaipur team. Um, and so it's a really big team effort. Um, I mean, they have a cutout of India here. <laughs> it's just so cool, right? Um, and just having that experience, let me see if I can scroll through to some, and there's Adam. So he went to the India Regional last year, along with Harshit and a few others. And then see if I can skip to one of, let's just cut to the middle and find some group shots. Oh, so we have Ravi, he won a prize. He got a big check and a trophy. So it's, it's, it's like a mini TCO, but in India with India flair and, you know, look at this huge group of people. Um, I'm sorry. You know, these people are all, they all want a trip. They all got to go there and meet each other. And it's not just, oh, here's a bunch of top quarter members in a room, but now it's a bunch of new friends in a room, right? You know, you get to meet people and, and become friends with them and learn from them and, and really interact and, network and it's a really really cool opportunity that we provide for our members um and then you know we went to beijing last year as well well in two amazing years sponsors ago. was yeah. that i mean we had some great sponsors here like so yeah so mi had a lot of interesting uh fit bands for everyone like so mm -hmm. again sponsor goodies right yeah yeah sponsor goodies are awesome and so we had here's bills edison our mvp um, and developer at Topcutter came in and, and helped out with the event and talked. I love how you guys have a branded microphone. I didn't even notice that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just a really cool opportunity. Then we have another one of our co-pilots, Seng Ming Dong, who's our, was, uh, is our uh, QA co-pilot. Um, so he had a few words to say as well. But I mean, you get another group of people in the room, some sponsors, they get to talk. Harshit learned Mandarin. It was awesome. <laughs> Um, and so it's just, it's a room full, again, of like-minded folks. They're all wearing their t-shirt and they're all competing and they're learning from each other and growing and again, making friends. Um, and then we even went to South America, which was really cool. We have some really great partners down in South America um, and Harshit was able to go down there with some of our, wait, you didn't go to that one, did you? I, I, I did. This one. Yeah, yes. you did. Yep. And Luis was there as well. Oh, that was the year before you didn't go. That's right. Yeah. Um, I'm getting all my years mixed up. There's so many of them. <laughs> um, after 20 years of TCO, you know, <laughs> they all start to blur into one. Um, yeah. But another great group of people here in Argentina and, you know, being able to, you know, this was one of our, this was our second event in South America. Right, so yes. um, we have a growing community down there. And I apologize for the sound. It's, I have some work being done in my house. Um, but it's a really, really cool way and let me look at the graphics you know you can see who's sitting where and this is a really cool great and we have we were here at medallia's offices right Harshit, for that one yeah, yeah. Office. um and then of course we were in tokyo as well and then here you see some of our members who traveled there to um tokyo for that event and then we have Guy, one of our members who passed away last year but he was at that event too and you know being able to meet him in person was a really great thing for some of our members and there's Harshit again with our team. So, I mean, and, and look at, so here's our MVP, um, Vicky behind her and, and, and her daughter, Yo-Yo. And they're here helping Harshit, you know, they're at the table helping yeah. out. And it's a really, it's a real group effort. We're, we're all together and we're helping each other. Um, and it's, it's a really cool thing to do. And I didn't even get the Indonesia event photos. I got to find them real quick because I forgot to bring those up. But our Indonesia events are also really, really amazing. Um, Harshit, why can't I find our Indonesia photos? Um, having a total I, brain fart. Uh, I'll go uh, they're, they're, on here. They're, they're, they're have, yeah. <laughs> so, so Sendika is there, right? He's clicking. Yep. So we have lots of photos from our Indonesia event. I mean, we've been at this hotel for Three years. so many years. <laughs> this really great hotel in, in Yogyakarta and um, you know, we've grown our community in Indonesia so much just from this event itself. Um, and a lot of them are designers and they get together. Um, Adam gives out cash and it, we always have really cool projects for them to work on. 
Um, but this is, you know, the start of budding friendships and the start of relationships that last a lifetime at Top Coder. Um, and so if you're part of our community and you haven't really been able to meet anybody yet, this is your chance to meet somebody. So if you're participating in the online stages and you get to, um, you know, win a ticket and crossing our fingers, we can actually be in person this year. Um, but, you know, being able to go and see, and like even there's Trevor, there's Sandika right there. Um, you know, we, we make the effort to be there. I mean, I personally am not at these events all the time, but Harshit is there, Adam flies out. You know, it's really important to us that we get that FaceTime with you and we're able to chat and, you know, look at, we gave away trips to TCO that year. Um, so you had a chance to win a trip. So, yeah, I mean, I can show you pictures all day long, honestly. It will never show you exactly what the events are all about um, until you're there in person. Um, I, again, I think it's really important to note that being a virtual community and having, you know, the computer as our way to communicate with people is it's stressful after time, you know, you want to have that interpersonal um, conversation and, and interaction with people. Um, it's so hard right now. I mean, you know, any other time, it's still the same for us. You're a part of a virtual community. You don't get to be with everybody. You don't get to meet them in person um, often or connect. And so TCO gives you that opportunity to make connections in person. You don't have to be on your computer chatting all the time. You can just be there. Um, and it's a really great opportunity for you. And we do this for you. So it's important that you try to qualify so we can meet you. Yep. Did I miss anything? Yep. Or is that the end no. of your, your deck? Uh, I just have TCO Hall of Fame. Uh, oh, yes, TCO Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, Yes, you do want to talk about it. So, so all what you do, like, so this was Harshit's so, idea. I'll give him that. Okay. <laughs> so, so all what you do, I mean, so Jesse has been motivating you why you should be coming to the event. There is a lot you need to experience at the event. There is a, and you know, there have been members who have been returning. So there is something really interesting that happens there. So make sure when you come to a TCO, when you qualify to a TCO final, uh, you get on this get on this website, which is TCO Hall of Fame, you know, go to Top Coder Member Programs. I think we'll just uh, post the link on the chat too. Uh, go to TCO Hall of Fame, read about what happened in 2002, what happened in 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the people, all the members who have worked hard every year and qualified, their names are there, their handles are not lost in, in the history. They are, they are in the Hall of Fame, uh, you know, and there are some interesting stories also written over there about each regional. So, you know, go and... Uh, read about them it's really interesting you know getting the feel and the legacy and you know knowing about the legacy of the tournament and finding how interesting it is uh, uh, to to be on here i think th that is going to really motivate you to get your name here i think that's one of the uh, you know that's one of the goals you can set this year i think Je uh, so jesse has a blog uh, out there so uh, which, which 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 in which we are really asking you what goals do you have for 2021 uh, we'll, we'll share the blog link too and Make sure you go in there. If you want to make it to a regional this year, want to qualify, put that. If you want to qualify to a final, put that in that form and we will make sure we help you. Uh, we help you qualify. We, we make sure that you get a chance to come to these events. We'll, we'll do our very best to get you all the resources you need and qualify to uh, or a regional or, or a TCO final and get your name on the Hall of Fame. That's like prestigious, stays forever. So for even even those members who made two TCO finals in 2001, uh, their names are still there. Like they can always show it to their family. They can show it to their you know that that's something you you get on uh, one of the two on, on 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 these on these leaderboards and stays forever. That's Hall of Fame. Yep. <laughs> I mean I, I I really have a lot of attachment to Hall of Fame because I spend a lot of my free time my sometimes my weekends going into the the old leaderboards and seeing what happened in round four of 2006 and seven. So, so, so I think once you start doing that, you really get a feel, you start looking at the problems that were there. If you're an algorithm member, if you're a development member, you can look at the development competitions. So, so all these things are, uh, you know, are so interesting to see. It's, it's like looking at the old statistics of a sport, 
and finding out what happened in uh, the EPL English Premier League of 2007 or it, like what happened in the World Cup of so so it's it's all here uh, so that's the programmers programmers sporting uh, leaderboards everything's here so make sure you go to Hall of Fame and check out uh, yeah so I think that's it for the deck um, so Harshad I have one question for you um, you can stop sharing now I guess. Um, what is your all-time favorite TCO regional event? What is your? What is your all-time favorite TCO regional event? That's, that's a hard one. I've probably been to almost all of them, so it's it's really hard to. Uh, but I think I'll, uh, I'll I'll pick TCO nineteen, TCO TCO eighteen, uh, China. That's really close to me because. I we saw a lot of we saw a lot of uh, old members uh, who had really stopped competing. In fact, we even saw uh, you know uh, Wishing Bone. He didn't come to the event, but I was able to meet him. So it was really great to go back and see all of those members, uh, Drea Moon, uh, uh, Blue Mary, and all those members attended that regional event. So that was the first time I I you know that something it really came to me that we should bring veterans. Uh, uh, to the event, so that stays very close to me, and I had I have all the photographs with all of them. So, so yeah, pretty so fun for me, yes. Because I I grew up watching them compete, so it was great to finally you know see all of them uh, and meet 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 them. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's and awesome. Again, I mean, if if you give me another chance, I would pick an just one of the India regional events because yeah, because how, the way we plan it, the way the way it happens, it's it's really close because you know yeah, the effort that goes into it. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. What about you, oh, I don't have a favorite. I didn't get to go to all of them, but um, they're they're all they're all the best. What What right. is your favorite top quarter open finals? Actually, that's that's we should be asking. You. Actually, I was just asked that question last week, so I I cheat. I get to cheat um because I already know the answer. Yeah. I think I think I my favorite TCO was actually TCO thirteen. Okay, the, um, the DC right, Washington DC. TCO thirteen in Washington DC. Our hotel. If you stepped outside, you could see the White House down the street we it was a lot a lot of work um it was very unique um it was just i just loved the atmosphere and, and the look and feel of it it was a really great experience um but i, I love them all honestly because i get to meet i get to meet everyone and meet up with everyone so i love them all for sure yeah. <laughs> and again uh after all these regionals if you see me if you see jesse uh, we take you out for butter chicken dinner so you can like ping us or poke us and say let's go for butter chicken dinner and uh, as daniela just pointed out on the, on the chat uh, so yeah so, so the best regional is that ends with a lot of butter chicken so, yeah. so so if you want to make your regional regional the best regional make sure you you know poke us and take us out you know make us go and have a butter chicken dinner after that so so yeah i think that um one of the most important parts that we don't often talk about it's very organic but um, yeah, TCO is all about competition and, and whatnot, but one of the coolest parts about it is the ability to hang out afterwards, right? I think, I think back to TCO 19 and, you know, it had been a long week. We were exhausted, but, you know, there was a bunch of us down in the hotel lobby at the bar and we're like, let's go out. And we went out with a bunch of the marathon finalists. And I know Daniela was there, a bunch of staff and other members. And we just went to the bar and we were chatting, we were eating pizza at like one o'clock in the morning. And it was just, it was ridiculous. It was so fun. I think you were sleeping, Harshik, because you were so tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that. Those type of things. And, and then one year, I think, I think it was one of the DC ones. I took a bunch of members to um, the Shake Shack for dinner. And oh. I, I just threw my credit card down. I'm like, everybody have a burger and everybody have a shake. You gotta, let's sit down and have some fun. And so, um, those organic like networking hangouts after the fact, like once competitions are over or at the end of the night, one night we went to Niagara Falls and we were in Buffalo after I the welcome that. reception. Yes. Yeah, after the welcome reception, we're like, we're not gonna have a chance to go to Niagara Falls. So let's go right now. And we went and just filled a bunch of people in a car and, and drove to Niagara Falls. So um, those type of experiences, like I'll never ever think of Niagara Falls other than being at TCO at Niagara Falls with people, you know? And so those memories are, they'll last a lifetime and the people that you meet will last a lifetime. So if you've learned nothing else from us today, learn that we love TCO, we love our community. 
we love being with everybody. And so you, sh you should want to be a part of that. I think it's, it will really add value to your life. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we're almost at time, Harshit. Anything else to add? Any questions? We didn't even ask you guys if you had questions. How, what a terrible webinar this has been. Um, do you have any questions? Oh, Cyan is saying it's a great webinar. Thank you, even though we didn't ask you if you had questions. Any questions, anything, no? Um, and and um, as Harshit said, um, I am asking you, what's your goal for the year? If you really wanna make it to TCO, that's a great goal. We can help you. Um, reach out to us. I'll put my email right in the chat. We have an open door policy. Our emails are open to everybody. Send us a note. Um, we're doing a weekly chat every Monday with community. We wanna get to know you more, be on camera more. So please just reach out to us at any point and we're happy to help point you in the right direction or help you out. Okay. Well, thank you, Harshit. Thank you so much for being here and talking about regionals. Yep. Thank you all for joining. And I hope that it's a, been a great experience and can't wait to see you at TCO. Yep, sure. And say, so I'll, I'll address your question in Slack or I'll uh, just, just oh, copy if you, wanna, and if you want to message Cyan after this about SRMs, that'd be great, Harshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are working on a new arena. Just, I'll just give you, we are working on a new arena and, you know, and uh, so, so, so it, it'll be a great experience very soon. So, so give us some time while we build that up. We So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your night. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.